WJXA News, news that works for you. A gay rights group says it plans to file a federal lawsuit in Atlanta to challenge the state of Georgia's constitutional ban on same-sex marriages. Georgia voters in 2004 overwhelm overwhelmingly approved a constitutional ban on gay marriage. Carrie Kavanaugh has the story from Atlanta. A veterinarian, an attorney, two Atlanta police officers. We are normal people, <laughs> and our marriages deserve to be equal as anybody else's. Avery and Rayshawn Chandler are among those taking on Georgia's ban on same-sex marriage. When we had an opportunity to step forward and to be heard um, and to be leaders on this issue, it was important to us to take that opportunity. Michael Bishop told us he doesn't believe his family should be singled out. Our day-to-day -day life uh, is extraordinarily ordinary. I think people would be shocked just how ordinary our lives are. The group filed a federal lawsuit in Atlanta Tuesday seeking the freedom to marry and the recognition of lawful marriages entered into in other jurisdictions. Attorney Beth Latrell believes momentum is behind them. There are there's an unbroken string of successes in the federal courts. A decided number of people have moved in the last two years really into the don't care or support uh, same-sex marriage. Channel 2's political analyst Bill Crane says same-sex marriage is no longer the wedge issue it once was. The gay marriage referendum was overwhelmingly approved by voters in 2004. The Georgia Christian Coalition would like to see it remain intact. They emailed us, quote, there is no right way to do a wrong thing and marriage outside the original definition is simply wrong. An increasing number of Georgia Christian Coalition members are opposing us because what the opposition does sounds more like level playing field than the truth. We think it's a unique opportunity to demonstrate to our kids and to the world the commitment that we have to our family.